Hello, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people of the internet. It is I, an alien from outside space. So today I'm going to show you guys every single Killstar bag I have, and I'm going to tell you the good and the bad of each of them, just in case you guys were wondering if you guys want to buy this bag, is it worth it, because some of them are pretty expensive. So I'm going to show you guys, and I'm going to give you lots of details. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe! What are you waiting for, guys? I'm sure you guys already heard all over the news that my subscribers are the the most beautiful subscribers and the whole internet it is scientifically proven by a real life scientist so yeah go click go click by the way guys if I sound kind of negative in this video that's kind of my point I'm gonna try to find all the bad things about each bag even though I do love them all so I'm sorry if I sound like I'm being really negative I'm just trying to give you every single flaw that it might have just in case that might bother you so let's get started Woo! first bag I'm gonna show you guys is this beautiful one so I do not remember the names of all of these bags actually I don't think I know the name of any of them so I'm gonna leave it on the screen so you will know <laughs> So, we can take a look at this bag. It is just black. It has this gorgeous lock design. It's just like this metal skull, which I think looks cool. One of my favorite little details is it does come with this little tassel. The straps are adjustable. Super cute. I really, really like, actually, the little buckles on the strap, especially this part right here. Can you see? I hope so. But I honestly think this bag is absolutely gorgeous. I, it's, like, kind of simple, but it has that bang, like, really cool design. The bag inside has, it comes with like napkins. That was from Taco Bell. No, but the bag inside looks like this. So it is kind of long, very, very thin, and it is pretty stiff. This bag has given me no problems. I have used every single one of my bags multiple, multiple times. So the only bad thing I could see about this bag, it is definitely does not have a lot of room. It is also kind of long, so if you have things at the bottom, it is kind of hard to get to the bottom. You gotta pull things out to get to the bottom. Usually when I use this bag, I don't carry my regular wallet because it is too big for this. I honestly love this bag. I absolutely recommend it. Just be aware that it does not have a lot of room. It doesn't stretch at all, so it's kind of like... So everything's kind of just like stuck in there, if you know what I mean. But here is the first bag. Next we have the Vampire Plush Head Crossbody Bag. They do also make a backpack. I unfortunately don't have that one, but if I did, I will be real happy. But I do like this bag a little more. So, obviously it has one of their very famous creature characters, Vampire. So, so adorable. You could also use this as like decoration because it's just so cute so the backpack itself is made very nicely wait no this is not a backpack <laughs> the bag itself is made very nicely super soft plushy I mean it looks good I, I have no there's like no flaws on the actual plush itself the strap whoo it is uh, detachable and I use this strap for other bags because look how cute it is honestly like just the little chain here just gives your outfit like this really cool touch. I don't know, it's just cool. Don't you guys think it's cool? <laughs> of course, all of Killstar's bags are kind of pricey, so just like a little thing like this was a little expensive, but I think it's totally worth it if you're going to love it, if you're going to use it a lot. Now let's talk about the space. So that is pretty much the only problem with this bag. It has like no space. But to be completely honest, I thought it was going to have even less space. I was actually worried about my phone not even fitting and it fits perfectly fine. And I could fit like a small wallet, like lotion, lipstick, without a problem. It has minimum space, a lot more than I actually thought it would have. So I'm actually very, very happy when I wear this. People go bananas. They love this bag. I love this bag. I thought it was completely worth it to buy it. And hopefully one day I'll have everything with this guy's face on it. Fly away! Next up is my favorite backpack by them. So this bag, I'm actually not completely sure if it's still being sold, but if it's not, I'm sure somebody's selling it somewhere online. A lot of these bags that are not available at Killstar anymore, I've seen them on Mercari or even on eBay. So you could possibly still find this bag. So this is a big fluffy monster, and I love it so very much. This bag is so cool like when you wear it it just looks so awesome I feel fabulous 
this is one of those accessories that even if you're wearing the plainest outfit, you wear this, you look cool. Yay! So as you can see, this has a very nice front. I really, really like it. You open it like this, and then it does have these straps that you open to get your stuff from the inside. It has a pretty decent amount of room. I can fit my big old wallet in there, no problem. It's not like a ton of room, but it's definitely not a little bit of room. Absolutely beautiful. The negatives about this bag, I would say, is that the straps aren't really adjustable. This is all they go. Like, this is the biggest they go, which I think is actually quite small. But I do like the way it actually lays on the back. But normally, I do like my backpacks a little bit lower. But that, that's not really a huge deal. And the other thing, it is a little bit hard because you have to buckle this up at the front. So when you want to get your stuff, you got to, you know, undo this, open it, then undo this. And then sometimes it gets kind of stuck and then open it again and then start looking. So that does take a little while, but I mean, it's not really a big deal to me. Look how pretty. Oh my God, this was one of my dream bags. I'm so happy I have it. I mean, just look at this bag. Look how pretty it is. The design just, oof, oof, A+. Plus. And then it does have these little things at the bottom so you can set it on a table and it won't move. Here are the strappy straps. I adore that Killstar does a lot of these like metal chain straps. Straps are adjustable. This bag is just beautiful. It honestly looks very elegant to me. I feel like you could make a very beautiful gothic Victorian look and this would look fabulous with it. This one is another one of the like hard, harder ones so it does not stretch at all. It just goes pretty much this much. Again, this one does not have a ton of room. I think the problem with me is that my wallet is actually pretty big. So my wallet will fit on one side and then I only have like this little bit of room. If you have a small wallet, you might have a decent amount of room. But here is my phone, which is actually quite big. I carry usually my makeup, like tissues, obviously my wallet. And like sometimes my camera, and if I have to carry my camera, that will not fit in here. Even my small camera. But I usually have no problem, I just carry a smaller wallet and everything fits just fine. Also you guys don't forget to follow my Instagram and my TikTok. I've been making TikTok, TikToks like crazy about all the cute stuff in my room. I have to shout it out because nobody else will. Okay, next up we have this bag and I believe this one is also not available but I have seen it online. This is the Nobody Cares bag. This bag is just cute. I thought it was adorable that it's a heart, but then it has like this sassy kind of mean words on it. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's adorable. This strap is basic. It's cute. I mean, there's not much to say other than it's a really cute heart. Again, it is one of those hard bags. I think most of their bags, since they don't stretch a lot, it's a little hard to get stuff in there. This one is a lot better now since I've used it, but at the start, this part was also pretty stiff, so when I would go in and out, in and out, it would actually kind of hurt my hand. But now, since I've used it a lot, it works pretty well. Here is my big old phone. I mean, it does not have a ton, ton, ton of space, but my phone fits. I can squeeze my wallet in there. I don't really have anything bad to say other than a lot of these bags don't have room. That's pretty much my only complaint. Other than that, all the bags are awesome. Ta-da! Here is one of their super popular bags. I don't know if it's still online, actually. But uh, it's cute. It's a black jack-o'-lantern thing. Oh my god, how adorable is this? This was one of my favorite bags. It's like a vinyl material. The strap is like a fabric-y kind of material, which is fine. It's really comfy. I also got this on Halloween and I named her Luz Clarita. She lost her leg in a horrible pogo stick accident. But look how I just love the design on this. So this bag, as you can see, it's pretty thin, like going around, but it's stretchy. It is a very stretchy material, not stiff at all. It has the zipper on the back, so you can fit a ton in here. I mean, like a ton in here. You could put your phone, you could put these drops, you could put your cat. But here is this one. I don't think I have any, actually anything negative to say about this one at all. Next up we have a fanny pack! I never thought I'd be buying a fanny pack ever again. I used to have a Winnie the Pooh one, but this one is spiked and it has like these studs on it. This is a cool one. So, <laughs> I actually got this for when I go thrifting, go to the bins and stuff like that. When I don't, I want to use my hands and just have a couple of things in here. So this bag is cool. Oh my god, it looks so cool. I kind of wear it like a belt, so it actually looks like a cool accessory. Obviously, this is not going to fit much. Like, 
that's not really a flaw because it's it's a small bag. It just fits my phone and a couple little things I usually just carry like money in there and my cards. It does not fit a lot. Like no. I just doesn't. <laughs> but that is fine with me. It's super easy to just have it on. Your hands are completely free. I also wanted to use this while working out, maybe going on a walk with your poopies, taking your turtle for a walk, whatever you like. All right, guys, we have a couple more, but I'm going to show you maybe my favorite, but it is my favorite because it's the one I've used more and the one that's just been the most useful for me, and it is this bad boy. So this one is actually super popular. I know a ton of people who love this one. It looks beautiful. It is vinyl. It is oof. Now this bag right here, I have literally zero negative things to say about it. It's beautiful. These are detachable if you want to use this, but look at this. Like, it has like a little stud detail. It came with a pom-pom. It also came with a pentacle, but since I'm not really into that, I just put the pom-pom. It has this. It has a buttload of room. I mean, this thing is it has a lot of room and it can stretch so you can fit a lot of things in here. So guys, this bag has been through a lot. So that is one thing that I'd like to mention. I have carried so many things in this. This is actually most my school bag. I am in cosmetology school. I carry books in here, my straightener. I carry nail things. I mean so much that I'm like, holy poop, this is gonna break. Like this is gonna break soon. No, it's fine. Like I've even checked it over here. I'm like, no, this has to be like, almost ripping i have put so much heavy stuff in here and i'm like one day this is gonna break and as much as i check there's nothing it looks perfect i'm not sure if it's just this bag because i have heard that some people say that their bags are not the best quality so far i have not had any problem i'm not sure why that happens sometimes that somebody gets something that's perfect and then somebody else gets the same thing that is not but I'm telling you guys, I have fit pounds and pounds and pounds of things in here. With, like, I can't even close it, that it's so much. I'll carry it to school, and it's perfect. I love this bag. This is probably the number one bag I recommend. Great every use, every use, every day bag. You can take this for like a, a sleepover. I don't know, whatever you want. I adore this bag. I'm tired. We have a couple of uh, more bags. This one might actually be my favorite uh, bag, but like visually, I just think it's beautiful. This was probably my first like dream bag I've had from Killstar. It's beautiful. It has velvet. It has this moon. It's simple. It's elegant. It's beautiful. I put this pom pom on here, and there's also Toto from Fruits Basket wearing a rice hat. The straps are pretty simple as well. The bag does not have the velvet. I need a snack. So this bag, out of all of them, other than probably the fanny pack, does have the least room. I mean, this thing, it, it doesn't have a lot of room. So if I put in my phone, as you can see, it kind of just is right there. I can squeeze a couple things in here. And then if you got to get something from the bottom, you got to take everything from the top out. <laughs> it's not a huge problem to me, but... There is a bad. It's it's still so worth it. I take these to like weddings and stuff like that because I think it just looks so beautiful. I have a three more bags and these are actually my least favorite bags. I love all my bags honestly, but I find the most problem with these, even though I still really really like them. So first of all, this is actually the bag I'm currently using right now. I'm taking this to school. So here it is. It is this beautiful baby. It's beautiful. Like you can't deny that it's super cool. I love the studs. It has the chain. It has this cool design right here. The strap also has the studded design. It has this in the back. I mean, it is a cool bag. I did buy this for another school bag since I kept using that one and I wanted a different one. And it looks big. I thought it would fit a lot, but it really, really doesn't. It, it fits maybe about half of what the other one fits. The thing with this one is the shape. So, <laughs> it's like this, as you guys can see. So most of the stuff just fits here. If you put anything up here, it just kind of falls to the middle. If you want to put a lot of stuff, it does work, but you kind of have to stack things. That's just me being kind of picky because it really does have room. I just, it just kind of looked big in the website. I thought it was going to be more like the other one, but it doesn't fit that much. So the bag itself is beautiful. I haven't had any problems with the actual bag. The problem that I kind of have is the chain. 
as you can hear from just me moving it, the chain hits the studs constantly. And oh, oh, I mean, constantly. Every time you walk, every single step, it'll go. And I hate that. But the strap, I mean, the chain is so cute. I tried moving it to this side and it just keeps hitting these still. So that is something that really bothers me. I think I'm just going to completely take it off and that should be fine. So I shouldn't have a problem with this bag. That is just my one kind of nitpicky thing that I have about this. Just making a lot of noise already. This thing is annoying. <laughs> it looks real cool though. So I do believe I'm just going to go ahead and take it off and everything will be fine. I still love it. It's just dead. I'm going to show you this backpack and then my last one is kind of a surprise because it's actually one of my favorite bags but it's the bag I've had the most problem with. So this is a little backpack. It has these uh, but do spaghettis? I don't know. It has this beautiful embroidered design in the front. It's really pretty. It has like a... I can't see from here. I hope you guys can see something. It's just a cute little backpack. I really do like it. My only real problem is that it's actually really hard. Uh, like this kind of bag for me. Maybe I'm just, I don't know, weird. It's really hard for me to get things in and out. Especially when I'm paying. Sometimes I have to be like, oh, where's my stuff? And then having to close it. And then having to close this and then leave. It takes me a while. I don't know why. <laughs> That's literally my own, the only thing I don't like about it. There's nothing actually wrong with it. It's really, really pretty. But bags like these actually do take me a while to open, get stuff. If I can't find it, then put it back and then do that. That's it. It's just me being kind of picky. It's still really, really pretty. And the last bag <laughs> that I kind of wanted to wait till the end because I do actually have some big problems. Big problems is this gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous uh, Duchess. I believe this is the only one I know the name of or it might be wrong. The Duchess bag like a bucket bag. Whew. Okay, so this bag is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the design. I like that I don't have anything even close to this. It has velvet and then it has this beautiful pattern all around. I think it's gorgeous. I actually super love that it has these little moons on the bottom, but these are a big problem. <laughs> it is also one of these, so it's a little hard and it has a little uh, clippy inside so you have to clip it in and okay I didn't do it you got it clip it in and then close it most of the time I just close it I don't have time to be clipping it in every single time the bag itself is beautiful I honestly do recommend but I have to tell you guys the one problem that I have in case this bothers you and it is these so when you walk they don't stop jingling like they will not stop every time you move just be jingle 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 so, I actually had a problem with these, and it happened twice. Technically, like four times, but when you walk, sometimes even fast, these things swing. And twice, I have hit myself, one in the knee, which actually really hurt. I was not expecting that. And then one in the arm. I was like, oh my god, who just like hit me with something? But it was me all along. The problem that I did have, I actually hit a kid with it. Uh, so I think I'm just going to remove these because the kid was kind of small and I was like walking and it hit him in the face and he, they were not happy and their mom was not happy and it was really scary. I was like, oh my God, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So yeah, and I also hit a lady with it and I had to say sorry. She was fine, but the kid was scary because I hit him in the face. <laughs> So I think after I take these off, oh, no, they're so cute. I, I don't think I'll ever have a problem with this bag again, but <laughs> you guys got to be careful. Don't hit children in the face with, with the little moon thingies. Okay, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want any of those bags, I there's kind of my little review. You guys kind of saw them in person. Honestly, like I said, pretty much the only problem was that not a lot of stuff fit, but obviously different size bags, you know what you're buying, so that's not technically like a problem problem but I just wanted to let you guys know if you guys want to buy some of these bags and they don't have a lot of room and you carry your TV with you it's not gonna fit okay guys I hope you guys enjoy please don't forget to give a thumbs up it helps so 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 much like so much you have no idea so thumbs up thumbs up I'll leave more videos over here if you guys want to watch I'll leave uh, like my 600 kill star hauls that I have I really hope you guys enjoy okay I love you bye bye